Welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's October 20th, 2023, and uh, it was 90 degrees today. Now the sun's about to set. It's probably about uh, 80 degrees right now. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is checking out this hive right here that has the hay dummy brick or something wrong uh, because last time I went through here when I was feeding and doing things and doing queen right checks, I found the queen in here and I also found super procedure cell. So we need to check in here and uh, October 20th is not the right time of year to be superseding a hive. I believe by this time all the drones in these hives have been booted out and they're all gone. There's no drones out there probably for that queen to mate with. If that queen did mate and uh, and she survived and came back uh, she won't be laying uh, for probably a couple weeks and these bees will not make it through well they might make it through winter but there won't be anything left they won't have a a queen that's any good uh, if they have a queen at all so we need to do something with this so what i'm going to do is unless i find a laying queen which that won't happen i'm going to take this hive and i'm going to combine it with a single deep right here and uh, do a newspaper combine and that'll take care of these and i probably will need to, to put some feed on them to make sure they're fed if i find a queen in there uh, she's going to go bye bye and it just won't won't be her time so uh, we thank her for her service and uh, and and that will be all <laughs> so let's get in here see what we find and get these suckers combined I'm going to try and work this without smoke so uh, if there is a queen in there I won't run her off run her hiding pretty good population in here so with the sun setting most of the bees are going to come back and be in hive and I can go ahead and move it do my newspaper combine and then they'll acclimate over there it's a little bit of nectar in that i can feel it from the weight looks like a prior brood frame so this was a double deep nuke i believe and i reduced it down and shortly after that's when i discovered the soup procedure going on boy they're a fanning they're acting like they're queenless. That's a little bit of capped honey. So when I did see the queen cell, super cedar cell, it uh, had a larva in it and it has not been capped yet. And that's been, I think, two, maybe three weeks ago. I've been on the road three weeks working and then I had a vacation in Colorado for a week. That's why there was a lack of videos there for a little bit. Got pollen here and nectar. Now I'm looking for a virgin queen, that's what I'm doing. Here's the last remnants of a little bit of brood. And it's towards the outside of where a brood ring was. There's one that'll be emerging right there. So that means it was uh, 21 days ago that egg was laid. A little bit of brood left here. Yeah, this hive is a little bit chaos. I 
There's some decent food stores in here, which is good. I don't want to combine an emptied out hive with another hive, causing a bunch of mouths to feed and nothing to feed them with. Again, got capped, a lot of nectar, a few little odds and ends, capped brood cells. I don't see my supersedure cell. It was probably back there where that brood frame was. That queen may have went out to mate. And hadn't made it back. Got eight by a bird. Dragonflies are pretty much done. I don't see many dragonflies around, if any. It's a lot of bees on the walls. A lot of fanning going on. It's pretty much a hive that's uh, unrest. They're they got issues. When they're fanning like that and there's no no smoke in the hive or anything, that's a sign they're queenless. Ah! Oh, look what I found. There she is right there. Man, she is like a track star. Look at her go. She's right there on the honey, right there on the corner. Man, that is one fast little queen. Okay. Now I gotta find her again. There she is. All right, there she is. Now there was only one supersedure cell. So I'm assuming there is only one virgin queen. So there she is. It's a shame, but uh, she's got to go because we can't combine this hive with that hive right there with her in it because what if she goes and fights and kills that queen over there and she's not even made it yet so we need to uh take care of her in a as humane a way as possible and then we'll combine these hives all right let's uh this needs another frame it only has nine i'll have to remember that uh, probably had a feeder in it at one point is why it's down a frame okay so we'll let this hive settle down a bit and let all these flying bees work their way back in here i'll go ahead and get this hive next door here prepped and get the paper on there and let the sun start setting, let all these bees chill out, then we'll move it. Uh, in the meantime, I will go over and there's a hive number three over there. I was walking through here this afternoon, just looking at entrances and hive three doesn't have much activity at all. So I want to do a check on that and see what's going on there. And we'll do that while we're letting this settle here. But first let's get our newspaper staged and, and ready to go over there. Okay. This is, I think this is hive number, number 34. Like the looks of that. My smoker, I think, has gone out. See if we can do this without smoke, but I'm doubting that we will be able to. Oh yeah, they're pissed. <laughs> Yeah, this hive is nice and heavy as a single deep. It's in good shape. Get our paper ready here. Let's 
not newspaper. This is like Amazon packing paper that they send in their boxes. It works really good for these combines. I'll do just a couple of small little cuts on this one because I want them to take their time combining. Don't want any fights breaking out. And we'll just leave it like this. Let them get settled out. And we'll go check Hive 3 and be right back in a little bit. So I have yet to check all of this row and there on the left, uh, queen right, except for these two right here that you saw in a prior video when I pulled those supers off. All right, here's Hive 3. So when I was looking this afternoon, there wasn't a lot going on here. And those bees that are flying in front of it, to me, they're not flying with any sort of purpose, like they belong there. They're just kind of flittering around. That tells me this hive is probably empty, robbed out, failed. It may be full of wax moths, larvae, who knows. Let's uh, check it out, see what we find. But yeah, when you see bees fluttering around like that in front of a hive, that's not a good sign. Look over here, see how you got a little cluster of bees there kind of guarding. Bees that come and go, right now they're all coming in from forage. So they all are coming in with a purpose. These bees here are just a little crazy. I could be wrong. Let's see what we find here. Well, that looks okay. See some high beetles going on. This bees right here, I'd say it's a little weak. So it might be queenless and this is all that's left. This is empty. It's empty, but not robbed out. Uh, robbed out, it's all chewed up. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't have that sweet, comby smell that's clean. It it's, has a little bit of a pungent to it. I, just, I might just be smelling a lot of empty old comb. A little bit of nectar right there. Yeah, this is all empty up top, so we could Probably reduce this depending on what we find here. Let me feel the weight on this thing. I'd say it's medium heavy. So here's a lot of capped honey that's not being attacked, it's not being robbed. I see some hive beetles, like it's not being protected real well, but it's not being overrun either. I'd say we, this is a thing maybe we just caught just in time. That looks okay. I'm thinking our bees are down in the bottom. I think they just reduced their population quite a bit. But I don't see any evidence of queen right now. Man, that's a nice, nice food store there. Yeah, does not need fed. There goes a cockroach. And there aren't any bees out here on these. So let's get to the bottom real quick. Let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Didn't care for what I saw there as far as a healthy hive. Food stores, yes. But uh, maybe all the broods down the bottom, which that would be a good thing. Well, this doesn't look bad as far as population. Just may have read it wrong. You can't always tell from the entrance what's going on, but a lot of times you can get a good feel for it. And this is an empty frame. I need to see some brood. If we don't see brood, this has to be combined somewhere. Pollen. 
basically empty and they're feeding on that capped honey right there. Lots of pollen on this one. Here's a few spotty brood and we have larvae right there. So this is a good frame of larva and a few brood but not much at all. So it appears queen right just not much. Same thing on this side. There you can see the larva in there and the spotty brood. Very spotty. And they're over here sucking up all this honey nectar. Same thing on this side. There's all your larvae. So if we have multiples of these frames, we're probably okay. But uh, they need more population for a double deep, which means we should definitely reduce it down. Yeah, this is the same thing here. Just not hardly any larvae, though. I don't like the looks of this at all. Same thing here. There's a few larvae right there around a few capped. I've never seen it so spread out on multiple frames so sparse like that. That's a first for me. Usually you'll see your queen laying on, if she's not laying much, on one or two frames and it'll be concentrated. And this is all pollen here and a little bit of nectar. So I did not see that queen. This is just, this is strange. <laughs> well, I think it needs to be reduced down anyways. If I can, uh... thing is, there's quite a bit in this bottom too. That can come out. We'll get those big slabs of honey out of here and replace those sparsely honeyed up frames with them. So this is an empty. So there's a nice heavy one. Man, I hate to take that out. There's a lot of pollen on it. But they don't need all that pollen to feed the brood because there aren't, there aren't any brood. Brood, brood, brood. If you'd even call it brood. Pollen. There, that one can come out. So putting these heavy slabs of honey on the outsides. So we got to shake off every one of these frames. Get all these bees off of here. And our queen might be up on here too. The way it looked to me, I think they're queenless. I think that queen was failing and they haven't superseded her. Otherwise, I think she'd been laying a lot more than that. Now there's a lot of bees on the walls of this box. Do we need to get out of here? This has worked better if it was actually blowing smoke and not the smell of smoke. It's getting it done though. Let's get back over there and let's do that combine. I'll set these frames out for a day over the weekend here and uh, let the bees take out of here what they want before I store it.
So there's a little bit of a honey in these. See there, they'll, they'll clean that up lickety split. It'll be gone tomorrow. Making sure this is all bees robbing and not walking around like they're from the hive and I forgot to shake it off. Their heads are all down in the cells chowing down, so that means they're there robbing it. Okay. Okay, here we are back over here on these two hives we're combining. You can see things have settled down quite a bit. Quite a few bees out there on that entrance, but they're always like that on that hive. So we'll uh, get that over there right now. So when I bring this other hive over, I don't even take the top of it off. I just get the bottom box and bring the whole thing over and set it down so it's the least amount of disturbance as possible over there. Okay, that's it. So those are combined. We still got a good number of bees over here on this bottom board. And there'll be a few field bees coming back in, going to that location. But they're just gonna have to beg their way into a different hive or figure out to come over here. So we'll just do it like that for now. So these hives, uh, these bees here on this board are not of this hive here. So they're not going to acclimate right off. But uh, I'm curious to see how that'll work out there. I may leave the camera running here for a while just to kind of do a time lapse of this and see how it goes. So you see a few bees flying around here. That's the bees that are coming back from forage or in the air when I moved it and uh, or they're coming off that bottom board over there. This is their location and this is where they're going to want to be. But that hive's not going to be here anymore. So they will light on other hives and I think what happens is they kind of acclimate to another hive and kind of beg their way in uh, if the other bees will let them in. If there's just a few out there and they're not like trying to take it over and rob it, uh, it's they don't seem to fight, but I see a little bit of fighting going on here. But uh, I'm going to end the video here, and then I'm going to shoot a time lapse over there on that uh, bottom board where they're, they're meeting and see how they do over there. But that's the end of the video, so give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care. <laughs>